the Fitzy and Whipper with Kate Ritchie podcast. The princess of pop. Kylie Minogue. Kylie Minogue. Kylie Minogue. Been part of our lives for nearly 30 years. It's the one, the only, Kylie Minogue. Yeah, the brand new album, Tension, is out everywhere right now. And have we got the beautiful Kylie Minogue with us? It, well, <laughs> I'm going to let you believe that, yes. <laughs> Well, the whole country it's would agree. It's a long probably. day. <laughs> oh, congratulations, mate. This is unbelievable. I mean, but um, but um, and also tension. And just globally how well it's gone. You must be happy. How's it been being back on stage, Kylie? Oh, I w- yeah, I did a show just over a week ago and it felt amazing. It was so nice to be back, to have new songs in the set. It wasn't that long ago we spoke and you were all asking me, what's Padam Padam? Yeah, <laughs> and I know. now we are in the post-Padamic um, and I, <laughs> you know, I got to do that on stage, Tension, another song from the album. So, yeah, it's a very heady and exciting time. Are there songs, Kylie, that, I mean, of course, we, we love the new stuff, but there's always going to be the classics that people want to hear as well. Is there a song that sometimes people might yell out from the audience and sing Locomotion and you think, oh, seriously? <laughs> oh, do I have to do that now. Um, Please. There's, there's definitely, there's a lot of, your disco, your disco needs you. <laughs> uh, so I've, I've had that in my set for a while. While, just to kind of you know do it yeah which is also a lot of fun um i guess locomotion gets called for yeah i bet i mean there's some randoms at some point i like to have fun saying you know i get my kind of my cabaret act on like you madam you sir what could i any requests and <laughs> i can't hear anything because they're all just screaming different things and if i can pl- if i can extricate something out of it, I'll um, then try and do an emergency recall in my mind. And think, How's that song go? And just yeah. what are the words? <laughs> yeah. Do you know what yeah, I think is exactly. awesome too? You, Kylie, sing. Like, you know what I love about Padam Padam? I mean, we were playing it here at Nova, and then it just started to appear. I'm not saying that we launched it. I'm not. I'm not claiming that because it was your work and <laughs> no. your reach is greater than ours. But it just <laughs> continued to catch on. It was like wildfire. And then you'd get onto TikTok, and thanks to TikTok, you've got a you've got a whole new audience audience there again and then it became trending on TikTok so every second video just had Padam Padam on it. I know it was crazy it was so entertaining and and like none of us anticipated that but watching it happen right in front of me on my phone from day one like yeah who knew you could get red ship on that fast and yeah. knock up a <laughs> you know damn Padam catsuit <laughs> that, that they went for it so I really felt super connected to a lot of people but especially to a whole new kind of generation of listeners mm. potentially fans i don't know but they were definitely into padam oh, padam yeah. and i finally get tiktok yeah i know it's oh, massive know. well it's it's massive for your reach and globally as well we know how well and i mean us michael gudinski always used to talk that kylie minogue is going to be my first number one in the us you've done so well over there the uk you've dominate in the uk i didn't know this statistic though kylie do you know this that your last number one in the in the uk was for slow in 2000 2003, but mm-hmm. I didn't know this. You've been and you've had quite a few number ones in the UK, but you've been kept off the number one spot over there on three separate occasions for three separate songs by the band Wet Wet Wet. What? Do you know that? Really? I feel three it in my songs. fingers. Times. Yeah, yeah, three separate times. You need to slide into their DMs and go stop releasing <laughs> music very, when I'm releasing yeah. music. Your people talk yes, to their people, very, Kylie. Yeah, they. Well, they don't have anything out this week. Great. Yes. Week. <laughs> um, I mean, I'm gonna have to, clearly. I'm gonna have to keep an eye. on How's your Vegas residency? It starts in November and it goes through to March yeah. next year. So you will be performing quite a bit over there. Any anything that you're going to be doing on stage? Is it going to be quite extravagant? Um, it's it's in a an intimate venue which caps at a thousand, so yeah. small. Yeah. It's going to be intense. It's going to be decadent. Yeah. Of course, I'm going to throw everything at it. This venue that. Hasn't even they haven't even finished building it yet. So what, you, what is I'm it called? Imagine. What's what's the casino called? What it's is called, it? It's called 
Um, it's at the Venetian Resort oh, and yes. the oh. club itself is called Voltaire. Oh. So it's based on a mix between a kind of 1930s club yeah. and a 1970s right. kind of Frank Sinatra kind of Elvis venue where there were booths and lamps and cocktails. And oh, I love wow. that. As soon as you get to the venue, you have entered Voltaire. So it's not, it's not wow. I mean, and then eventually right. later in the evening, there'll be me. But prior to that, it's it's meant to be part of a bigger experience. Carly, I'm um, just sorry to cut the interview, um, I- interrupt the interview. Tommy, could you write down yeah. Fitzy Whipper, Kate Ritchie okay. to go to Vegas to yes. see yes. Carly's yes. show? Yes, yes. bringing Three listeners. Tickets. Thank you. Sure. Um, yeah, and I've made, a, I've made made yeah. a little scribble here. Save tickets. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. Well, so we'll I'd like there. a booth, Kylie. Let's just be <laughs> for a done deal. Yeah. Okay. We want the penthouse at the Venetian as well, if that's okay, <laughs> um, Carly. Uh, you've probably got three <laughs> levels. We just need two. <laughs> no Lock worries. The boys like to share. <laughs> um, that will be an amazing experience. Um, congratulations, Kylie. It is and tension. I mean, we're playing tension every couple of hours here on Nova as well. We're we're absolutely adoring it, and everyone's talking about dance yeah. floors have been lit up again with Kylie Minogue. Yeah. Your brand new album, Tension, is out everywhere now. You can go check it out. Kylie Minogue, thank you so much for coming on the show. All right, I'll see you in Vegas. See you. Yes. Yes. Love it. You Thanks, will. Kylie. Bye. Fitzy and Whipper with Kate Ritchie is a Nova podcast. For more great comedy shows like this, head to novapodcast.com.au.